As a little boy, I had travelled from Africa to India by ship. I remember huge creatures swimming along our ship throughout the journey. Nearly 40 years after the crossing, the faint memory of these massive creatures in the warm waters of the Arabian Sea lured me to look for them once again. We travelled all along the Gujarat shore in all seasons for three years, combing the waters, asking local fisher folk about this fish. We finally found them in a small fishing village on the Swarast coast. Only this time, these creatures imprinted in my memory were not frolicking in the sea. They were being hunted. Scores of whale sharks lay on the beach, hauled in to be slaughtered. But for the local people, nothing seemed amiss. For them, it was just another catch. Whale shark hunting has become a rampant practice here. Several fishermen have mastered the skill of capturing this mammoth fish. The most basic equipment is used for this. An iron hook, nylon rope and a couple of barrels used as buoys. With heavy hearts, we film the harpooning of one of the hundreds of whale sharks that are killed on the western coast of India every year. Six kilometers into the sea, we waited for hours, captive in a small open boat, scorched by the relentless summer sun. A little past noon, a whale shark was spotted. Several boats closed in on the find. The rules of the hunt are simple. The first boat to the catch claims it. The diving fish is constantly pulled upwards by the floating barrels. Exhausted, the whale shark gives up the fight and eventually floats to the surface. On our way back, we saw several other whale sharks being towed back. The size of the whale sharks caught varies from 15 foot juveniles to 35 foot giants. Back on shore, we found more beached whale sharks. Magnificent creatures of the deep, aground. Strangely, most fishermen hire other people to cut up their whale shark catch. The mindless slaughter perhaps goes against the grain. But the massacre continues regardless. In the last five years, Exporters along India's western coast have caught on to the demand for whale shark meat and fins in parts of Southeast Asia. Whale shark meat is sold for a ridiculous one rupee or two cents for a kilogram. Exporters get about 40 times the amount they pay to the fishermen. The fishermen usually keep the liver to extract the oil themselves. The liver accounts for roughly 10% of the total weight. Removed from the carcass, the liver is cut up and carried home by these men. Cut into strips in their backyards, the liver is put into metal barrels and left in the sun. Amazingly, there is no process required to extract the oil. Left in the barrels, over time, the liver melts into oil. This oil was originally used by fishermen to waterproof boats. 
and sometimes sold at a very low price to shoe polish manufacturers. Today, despite alternative waterproofing material being available, this liver oil is still used for waterproofing boats and is sold for less than a dollar a litre. It is important to examine whether the commercial returns of this marine product is worth putting the species in danger. Is it crucial to the livelihood of the fishermen that hunt it? The children that play on the floating carcasses of these gigantic ocean creatures may never realize that they have been witness to the waste of an extraordinary life form. <laughs>